One overseas Filipino worker was wounded in the ongoing violence in Sudan. The Philippine Embassy in Egypt is now looking to evacuate affected Filipinos once the fighting clears. Camille Samonte with the report. The Department of Foreign Affairs confirmed that a Filipino was hurt amid the ongoing clashes between the military and paramilitary group Rapid Support Forces in Sudan. The injured Filipino was hit by a stray bullet but is now in good condition. Ngayon, tuma dito na siya sa hospital at uh, magaling na raw siya. Mm -hmm. Ayaw niya masyadong publicity daw eh. Kasi nga, uh, illegal siya eh. Pero yun nga, siya lang ang alam namin na na, na injure. With this, Filipinos in Sudan are advised to stay home as the Philippine Embassy in Egypt is finding ways to conduct land evacuation. Papagdadala, mm -hmm. mag-aal sila ng mga vehicles, papasok ng Sudan, Ita drive sila uh, papuntang Egypt. Eh, that's about 10 hours away. Pero hindi namin sinasabi sa mga, mag uh, sa mga Pilipino na pumunta sa isang evacuation center. Based on the latest data, there are more than 400 Filipinos in Sudan. The Philippine Embassy in Egypt has received 86 requests for evacuation and repatriation from Filipinos who are affected by the ongoing violence in Khartoum, Sudan. Of them is John Deza, who lives near a military base. He says they are now running out of food supply and there's no electricity. Mga aeroplano po, sinunog po nila. Ayan po yung ano po dito. Medyo hindi po kami okay kasi... Wala pa pong lumalapit sa aming mga tulong. Uh, wala pa po kami ditong uh, mabilang pagkain, tubig, kuryente po. Wala po lahat. Sarado po lahat. Aside from this, they also need to be wary of looting residents. May mga ibang lugar na naglulooting na sila, pinapasok nila ibang bahay. Meron ng ibang lugar na ganun. Pinagnanakawan na sila. Pinagnanakawan na yung ibang bahay. Yan ang kinakatakot namin kung yan ang gagawin sa amin na papasukin na kami dito. At least 350 people have been killed while more than 2,000 people were injured amid the attacks. Sudanese Army and the RSF had agreed to a 72-hour truce. The ceasefire could provide a crucial window, not just for aid distribution and medical care, but for foreign governments to rescue their citizens stranded in Sudan. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.